Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, eighty seven four four. So today, guys, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing my Asian Cup match day two. I mean, sorry, day two review of the three games. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick review of all three games. I'm not gonna do this too long here because I'm gonna keep this around short and sweet for you guys. Around ten minutes. Do three minutes for each game. So we're gonna start first with the India versus Australia game. Now, just a quick side note here. I did not watch this game. In fact, I only watched the highlights. Now, I did watch a good comprehensive highlight section. So. I think I have a good idea what happened in the game and so forth. So, and of course, if there's anything I missed in the comments below, please let me know because I only I only watched one game of the three today, um, and I did watch comprehensive highlights for the other two games I didn't watch. So, starting with the India versus Australia game, shout out to India. India for me played really well defensively. I think India for me defensively they were very very good, solid, and I think the game plan for India coming into this game was that okay, we're probably going to lose this game. Okay, so what we're going to do is try to be so defensive in the sense that, okay, maybe we can get a point here. And a point here could be huge for India. As for Australia, of course, there was a lot of pressure upon them because, you know, they have so much quality, right? And India played well, I would say, in this game. They were defensively solid and everything. And I, I, I want to give a shout-out to that center back who had a man-of-the-match game. I forgot his name at the top of my head. He's a center back. He had the headband. Um, he wore the headband. He was fantastic today as a center back. I was really, really impressed with him. India, man, the problem with this formation is that as good as they were today, they didn't create any attacking moments. They only had a few moments of the game attacking chances. That one chance I think Sunil Chetri had from the header, and the one moment where Austria almost capitulized, and almost India almost had a goal there, which was own, which could have been an own goal for Australia. But yeah, Australia for me were um, great in this day. And I gotta say, man, Gurpreet Singh, man, the goalkeeper for India was terrible. He made a big mistake in the first half. And while it didn't get punished, he made a mistake in the second half, and that one did get punished. And Irvine scored. And for me, Australia, man, they just they 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 just know how to get it done. They're just that team that they don't when even when they're not playing that well, they just know how to grind up results. Because remember, I think they had another game. I think it was against Palestine where they didn't really play that well in the game, but they still managed to get a win there in that game on the road. So Australia's a team. You know, it's, you know, if they're not playing well, they can still find a way to get a goal. And the second goal, man, was scored by the left back. Really good cross there from the player there, and it was an easy, it was an easy goal, man. easy goal on the far range near post. And there was no nothing he could have done. Uh, Gorbeth could have done there. Maybe he could have done his positioning better. But yeah, for India, man, as I said, they were just they were good in the day, but they just didn't create enough attacking moments. And that was my big problem with India coming into this Asian Cup. Is that I said in my preview, in my predictions, but you guys can check it out. Um, they're in the, in the playlist. I said that India would be good in this. I think Indi I was confident with India defensively, but I was just worried about India goal scoring wise because I don't know where the goals are coming from from this team, and that's my big problem is that I just don't know if Sunil Chetri is just that guy. I don't know how good he's going to be in this Asian Cup because we saw in the last Asian Cup I think he scored two goals in three games, so he had a good tournament. This time around though, he's thirty nine. I don't know if he's going to be as prolific as he was in the last edition. So for India, man, it's going to be very difficult for them. But hey, they only lost two nil. And for me, that game that will decide India's fate is that India versus Syria game. That's going to determine whether India advances or not, in my opinion. Because if India wins that game, they're in a good position. But they have to win that game. Moving on to the next game we have here. It is China versus Tajikistan. And I got to say, I want to owe an official apology to Tajikistan. Because they were amazing in this game. They were dominant in this game. And China, for large parts of this game, were abysmal. China were simply abysmal in this game. And I was shocked to see. Like, I didn't think China would be this bad. I knew China would be bad. I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't have a lot of expectations for them. I predicted 1-0 China. But, man, to just that were amazing. They were controlling the game well. They were creating chance, possession. But my one issue I have with Tajikistan is that every time they got into the final third, they're rushing it. They were trying to rush. I think they got too excited and too happy. And you got to be calm. You got to be calm and collected, and that was my one issue I had with Tajikistan because I feel like they were trying to rush things out, you know, trying to, you know, go, for, you know, get that goal, you know. And for China, man, they were just not good in this day. I was not impressed with them whatsoever. They were getting beaten. Um, they did kind of get better in the second half, late in the second half. They did kind of up their gear, and you can see China were actually creating momentum. I think after the 75th minute, they actually started to play well. And then there's that controversial moment, and you guys know what I'm talking about. The goal that it got to slot for China. In my opinion, that goal should have counted. I don't know why that goal didn't count, so please let me know in the comments below because apparently uh, I was told it was offside, but to me, it doesn't even look offside. I th I think, though, from my understanding, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments, um, I believe the goal was disallowed because there was a foul in the buildup. There was a foul 
when the goalkeeper got it in some kind of obstructing view. I'm not exactly sure what the what was wrong, but yeah, that's a huge moment. And China, man, they're going to be kicking themselves. They're going to be angry because that is a moment that could potentially have a lot of implications on this group. Because had China scored that goal, this group could have been very different. So, like I said, it's going to be very interesting to see which team gets a second place because this is a difficult battle. Because I'll be honest with you guys, all these teams are around the same level in this group. And there's really no team, I would say, that's like you should fear in this group. Like, I feel like all the teams are on the same level. So, Shout out to Tajikistan, though. They did a good job. They got a well-earned point. But, oh, man, Tajikistan, they got to improve their quality in the final third. Because, for me, what's the big game in this group, what I'm really looking forward to is that tajikistan Lebanon game. I think that game in this group is going to have huge implications. And for China, man, they simply have to do better. Because this point, you shouldn't be drawing to Tajikistan, with all due respect. Because Tajikistan, this is the first time they ever played in the Asian Cup. You know, so... China men, very disappointed with China. Expected more from them. And for China men, maybe they should be lucky. Maybe they lucked out with getting a point. See, it's weird for China because on one hand, I would say they got lucky to not lose. But on the other hand, I would also say they got lucky. To, they got lucky. They were unlucky to not have won this game. So, it's a, it's a weird one, guys. It's a weird one because I think this one can go either way. Finally, moving on to the final game we, we got here, guys. It is um, Uzbekistan and Syria. Uzbekistan nil, Syria nil. Shout out to Syria, man. Syria were defensively solid on the day. I think Syria had a really good game plan coming into this game, and they were going to try to park the bus, try to get that draw, and, you know, hit Uzbekistan on a counterattack. And that's what they did in this game. Um, as for Uzbekistan, man, they really struggled in this game. They really struggled. And I, I really didn't think the loss of that striker, Shromov, is going to affect them that much. And I think it really did because they were struggling to create chances in the game. Uh, the first half, both teams had five shots on target. And both teams had their chances here and there. I think Syria's chances were probably better, to be fair. Um, and the, um, what is it called, the first half? And then the second half, man. Uzbekistan started to come to life. They started to make some good, the Syria goalkeeper had to make some good saves. Uh, then then we have that goal, man. That goal for me, that was clearly dis clearly offside. Clearly offside, the right decision. I think it was the 80th minute, game-changing moment there. And Uzbekistan, man, they kept trying and trying in the stoppage time. But it wasn't enough. And, trying, and for... Uh, Syria, man, they hold on to a very impressive point because this was a game that a lot of people expected Uzbekistan to win, myself included. I thought Uzbekistan would win this game comfortably. But now with this point Syria just got, this group is now more complicated because now um, Syria, now that Uzbekistan-Australia game could have, that Uzbekistan-India game could have mean a lot in this group. And I, in my personal opinion, I feel like that game will, have a, will, will decide this group, in my opinion. I feel like that game... If India lose that game, ugh, it might be bad. It could be very bad because coming into the final match day, Syria would be on one point, expecting if you expect Australia to beat Syria, um, and it can make things very interesting. So, I'm like I said, man, for shout out to Syria, man, they were defensively solid. It's a very well earned point. They were impressive, and I think they deserve the draw. As for Uzbekistan, man, they got to do better in the final third. They didn't create enough. Um, they created chances, but they got to be better. The quality chances they have in this game wasn't great, and I think Syria for me, they had the better chances. And I think they had one chance they almost scored in the second half. Um, they just went wide, I believe. So, yeah, those are my quick thoughts on the games, guys. Of course, going to do a live reaction to all the games on Tuesday at around 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so, and um, like I said, guys, join me for that to discuss all the Asian Cup games. And, of course, there will be a Twitter space that will be starting in a few minutes for us to discuss these games. So, hope you guys enjoy. Remember, guys, like and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.